Have you ever wondered what makes traditional snacks so irresistible? Perhaps it's the perfect blend of nostalgia and flavor that transports us back to simpler times. Today, we delve into the heart of Kerala's culinary traditions to bring you a delightful treat known as Uni Apam. This sweet snack marries simple ingredients with rich flavors, creating a treat that's hard to resist. First, gather your ingredients. You will need one cup of rice flour, one ripe banana, half a cup of grated jaggery, two tablespoons of grated coconut, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds, and a few tablespoons of ghee for frying. Begin by preparing the batter. In a mixing bowl, combine the rice flour, mashed banana, grated jaggery, grated coconut, cardamom powder, baking soda, and roasted sesame seeds. This is where the magic starts. Mix all these ingredients thoroughly to form a smooth batter. If you find the batter too thick, feel free to add a little water to adjust the consistency. Aim for a batter that can generously coat the back of a spoon. Now heat your apam pan over medium heat. This special pan, also known as an ape pan or paniyaram pan, is essential for giving uni apam its distinctive shape. Add a few drops of ghee into each mold of the pan to ensure that the apams do not stick and have a lovely golden color. Once the pan is sufficiently hot, pour a spoonful of batter into each mold, filling them up to about three-fourths full. Cover the pan and allow the appams to cook on medium-low heat for two to three minutes or until the bottom turns a beautiful golden brown. After this initial cooking phase, use a skewer or spoon to carefully flip each appam. Add a few more drops of ghee if needed. This will help in achieving a crispy exterior. Cook for another two to three minutes until both sides of the apam are evenly golden brown and have a slight crispiness. Once cooked, remove the apams from the pan and place them on a plate lined with paper towels. This helps absorb any excess ghee. Repeat the process with the remaining batter, adding more ghee to the pan as needed. Serve these warm uni apams as a delightful snack or a dessert. They are especially delicious when fresh and warm, but they can also be enjoyed at room temperature. For an added twist, consider adding a handful of chopped nuts like cashews or raisins to the batter for extra flavor and texture. And remember, the sweetness can be adjusted to suit your taste by adding more or less jaggery. Finally, ensure that the appam pan is not too hot as it may cause the appams to burn quickly, detracting from their delightful taste. Now, why not try making these aromatic uni appams at home? Share your experiences and any personal twists you've added to the recipe in the comments section. Your insights could inspire fellow culinary enthusiasts to explore new flavors. Enjoy crafting these delicious uni appams and immerse yourself in the flavors of Kerala. Remember, every bite tells a story. Happy cooking!